Okay, class. So today we're going to go over um, a few vocab words and verbs and questions to talk more in depth about travel and travel arrangements. So the first vocabulary word is el horario. Let's repeat el horario. El horario is the schedule. La taquilla. Repeat. La taquilla. La taquilla is the ticket office. The next word. Un billete. Repeat, un billete. Un billete is a ticket. Another word for ticket is un boleto. Let's repeat, un boleto. Un boleto is, like I said, another word for ticket. Un billete de ida. Repeat. Un billete de ida. Un billete de ida is a one-way ticket. Un billete the ida y vuelta. Let's repeat. Un billete. The ida y vuelta. That is a round trip ticket. Para. Repeat. Para. Para means for. De. Repeat de. De means of or from. La via. Repeat. La via. La via is the track. La estación. Repeat. La estación. La estación is the station. The train is more specifically a train station. So if we want to talk about a train station, we would say la estación de train. El portero. Repeat. El portero is the door attendant. Primera clase. Repeat. Primera clase. Primera clase is first class. Segunda clase. Segunda clase is second class. Salida. Repeat. Salida. Salida is departure. Llegada. Llegada. 
is the arrival. La maleta, repeat, la maleta. The suitcase. Hacer la maleta, repeat, hacer la maleta means to make the suitcase, but it's the phrase we use to say to pack a suitcase. El vuelo. Repeat. El vuelo. El vuelo is the flight. Okay, now into the verb. So we have the verb llegar, which means to arrive. Let's repeat. Yo llego. Yo llego means I arrive. Let's repeat. Tu llegas. Tu llegas means you arrive. El, ella, and usted llega. Repeat. El llega. That means he, she, or you formal arrives. Nosotros llegamos. Repeat. Nosotros llegamos is we arrive. And then ellos llegan. Repeat. Ellos llegan is they or you all arrive. The verb salir means to leave or depart. The first one, yo salgo. Repeat, yo salgo means I leave. This is an irregular verb, only in the yo form. We add a G, yo salgo. The next one, back to normal conjugation, tu sales. Tu sales means you leave. El, ella, and usted sale. He, she, and you formal leave. Nosotros salimos. We leave. Ellos salen. They, or you all formal leave. Okay, now to the question. So the lines under the question is there for you to write down what the question means. On the right side is how you would answer the question. So we're going to leave these blanks blank for now during the video because once we start to answer them in class, then that's when you will plug in the answer in these blanks. So for right now, you should just be filling in the line right under each question, and there we'll go what the question means, what the question's asking. So number one, ¿Cuál es tu destinación? Let's repeat. ¿Cuál es tu destinación? That's asking, what is your destination? Your answer would be, mi destinación es, and then the place you're going. Again, we're leaving these blank for now, just for the video. The video, we're just getting what they mean, and then we'll be able to fill it in after. Number two, en qué clase quieres viajar? Let's repeat, en qué clase quieres viajar? That's asking, in what class would you like to travel? Your answer for that would be, me gustaría Viajar en blank clase. Number three. ¿Cuándo vas? Repeat. ¿Cuándo vas? ¿Cuándo vas is asking, when are you going? 
the, the answer for that would be yo voy el, and that introduces the day. Number four, cuanto cuesta? Repeat, cuanto cuesta? And then we have the other question, cuanto cuestan? They both mean how much does it cost? The first one is singular and the second one is plural. So depending on how many things you're asking about, that's which one you're going to use. Cuanto cuesta for one thing, cuanto cuestan for more than one. If you're going to use one thing, you can say el billete co cuesta blank. Okay, number five. ¿A dónde vas a pasar las vacaciones? Let's repeat. ¿A dónde vas a pasar las vacaciones? Where are you going to spend your vacation? The next question, para cuantos días? Repeat, para cuantos días? For how many days? Your answer would be, yo voy para blank. Here would be the number, días, semanas, or meses. Dia, uh, days, weeks, or months. Number seven, como viajas? Repeat, como viajas? Como viajas means how are you traveling? Your answer with, for this would be yo viajo en, yo viajo en tren, yo viajo en avión. Yo viajo en autobús. Number eight. ¿A qué hora llega? Repeat. ¿A qué hora llega? ¿A qué hora llega means at what time does blank arrive? So in the blank of this question is going to go a mode of transportation. ¿A qué hora llega el tren? ¿A qué hora llega el avión? At what time is the train or plane arriving? At what time does blank arrive? So in the blank is going a mode of transportation. In question number nine, ¿A qué hora sale? Let's repeat that. ¿A qué hora sale? Again, in this blank is going a mode of transportation because number nine is asking, what time does blank leave? So number eight is asking, when does it arrive? Number nine is asking, when does it leave? We have the verb llega, which means to arrive, and then sale, which means to leave or depart. Number eight is to arrive. Number nine is to leave or depart. Now, once we go to the right, this sentence right here is covering both questions eight and nine. So we have el tren, el avión, el autobús llega a blank. Now in the blank here would go the time. We know a sometimes introduces time. El tren llega a las doce. Llega, this right here, would be matching question eight. If you wanted to answer question nine, you would use sale. Okay, number 10. Cuando llega el próximo? Now again, in this blank is going a mode of transportation. So let's see what this means. Let's repeat first. Cuando llega el próximo? Means when does the next blank arrive? Cuando llega el próximo tren? When does the next train arrive? Now in the answer here as well, we have llega or sale. Here we could replace llega with sale 
just changing the meaning of the question, but cuando llega el próximo means when does the next blank arrive.